Good morning, good morning. It's 5.30 on March 22nd, Monday. About to open this week pre-market. And uh, stock futures are a little sideways. So futures opened yesterday, Sunday, down. Uh, they've been rising here pre-market. So looking at SPY right here. Uh, looks like we're respecting this 78.6, about this 388 level. Um, right, so we got close down to 388.2 this morning. Now we're bounced up back to 390. Look at the hourly. All right, you see we have the downtrend for a while, but it looks like on the hourly here we've crossed back over the 9 and 22 and our size rising up here. So look to see if we can go test this 50 and then eventually this 200 moving average up here, you know, up in the 391, 392 area going forward this week. There was some different, uh, you know, news. Europe was lower on third wave lockdowns. Turkish lira fell 12%. Um, last time that, ha that happened, I believe it was like 2017. That did cause some market turmoil. So. Uh, some things to watch going into this week. Um, top top gainer this morning is SPRT, which is support.com. So they uh, entered a deal. So you see here, massive move from 214 on the close on Friday. Uh, a little bit ago, hit 904 pre market. Uh, so they had news that they uh, basically combined uh, with. Greenage, which is like a Bitcoin mining company, so they're going to merge with them and getting into the crypto game. So you see here, news came out early this morning. You know, 320, just stair stepping, holding this nine EMA in the five minute all the way up, bounced off of here, 510, push up 904. Now we're pulling back down to the nine. So let's look to see if this nine holds right now. This candle just literally just open right on it. So look to see if it holds. If not might pull back further down to the seven dollar range where we got you know three five minute candles with bottoms at seven dollars so we'll have to look at that going forward as we move to the open uh, so this is a, a mining play but uh, a lot of Bitcoin stocks are pretty sideways right now so if we just hop over to look at Bitcoin's price so you, you see here uh, this is a daily for Bitcoin been consolidating here in the upper you know 50k so between 59 and 56 bouncing around in there putting another base kind of using the uh, previous high from February as a uh, consolidation area but uh, if we go look at the 30 minute just get a, a lower time frame here All right so even even tighter here we're look test, testing the bottom here of this 57 uh, K area so look to see if that holds and uh, in terms of uh, Bitcoin and crypto stocks are pretty mixed, so Riot, Ebon, SOS can. Uh, some are up a, a few percentage points, some are down. Uh, so I'm not, not really a big thing to look at right now. Not moving very volatile this morning, but uh, could be of interest as the day goes on. Uh, and then we'll go look at AMC. So AMC this morning uh, sold off, right? So we didn't close above 14 yesterday. Or excuse me, yesterday, Friday. <laughs> but uh, you can look at the AMC video we talked about there. Had this huge block trade at the end of the day. Thought this would sell off more. Um, area of interest I looked at for support using you know multiple fibs off the previous two week move was that 1320 area. Got down to 13 bucks this morning, but buyer stepped in, and uh, you'll see this 13 dollar area accounts for this low here on Wednesday. Uh, the low on Wednesday was exactly 13 bucks in the intraday trading. And we bounced off that this morning, pushed up higher. Um, 1350 again, kind of where we closed at uh, Friday after hours is now acting as resistance above, pushing us back down to about 13.4. Uh, if you watch different AMC videos, they had their their voting um, for a shareholder meeting. I think I believe it's at the beginning of May, but they're talking about uh, potentially what well, what they are voting on is like uh, executive compensation and then. Uh, issuing, you know, I think I believe it was 500 million shares to get rid of their debt. So obviously, people who want this thing to squeeze are going to be voting no for that. But the uh, company could be uh, company holder holders or long-term investors could be looking at issuing those shares, right? So get rid of that debt for long-term play, as they have hopes that movie theaters will come back just as strong as ever. So uh, AMC, I think, on the open could could come down and test this $13 area again. Maybe at 13.2, and then uh, you know if that area can't hold, we do have this volume gap lower. 
and want to see this uh, ultimately this gap fill down to 11 bucks so we'll have to look and, and uh, wait and see what happens here with AMC GameStop you know obviously the other Wall Street bets play a bigger name it was actually uh, rising here pre-market you know hasn't moved a ton trying to get through this $200 area 200 right now um, kind of acting as as resistance but if we can get through there we might get a little pop higher and that could send all the Wall Street bets plays uh, up so um, really that's all I got for you guys this morning pre-market kind of a slow Monday um, not not much really up even on uh, low flow low flow stocks so I guess one just popped up here DYA I haven't looked at the the, the reasoning but um, kind of slow here on Mondays I'm sure things will start moving later on in the week the NFT plays might come back they're down a little bit um, you can see here oh that's right but uh, TCAT OCG they're all down you know a little bit so well more than a little bit almost 20% on TCAT OCG you know down 60 cents 5 percent so look to see if the uh, uh, NFT plays will heat heat back up again off their move from last week or if they'll consolidate this week uh, Clovis is down well now it's right about even but Clovis is getting a lot of volume again this morning so it might make a move as well so that should be on watch so um, that's what I'm looking at this morning hope you guys have a great day and uh, you guys got anything for me leave it in the comments uh, and we'll see you in the next one